What is up, Scorpio? It's your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot B in Boston. So, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. If it's not your story, don't make it your story. Right now, I'm doing readings based on what's going on in society and also what's going on with your significant other, your love life, or what's ha whatever's happening there. That's your main concern, which we all know work is our main concern and things like that, but since we're shut down like a business then we won't be talking much about work unless something is brought up where you know mass amounts of employees were laid off cross watchers always welcome 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 to the queen therapy please if the energy comes in vice versa it's good it could come in scorpio's energy it could come in yours Please feel free to leave a comment. I always read my comments and I always try to answer as many as I can. I am a new mom. Um, I have a preemie that's growing into a newborn. I'm a wife. I'm a best friend. I have a lot of responsibilities. So just try to understand that. And I'm also, I have an autoimmune disorder, which makes this whole situation even more fun than it already was. So I am telling you guys now I'm going to be collabing soon with two different businesses one's going to be chakra candles um, with Jill Covey and I'll be working on that with her and the other one is going to be something called verified v-e-r-a and then a dash f-i-e-d um, and I'll put the link and everything to Facebook below uh, it's a friend of mine who runs a clothing business and she made me this just a good mom with a hood playlist um, and she also made my daughter a onesie that says Aries and it has the constellation on it um, she also made us a matching set that says I'm the kind of mom that drops f-bombs and then my daughter's onesie says my mom has a potty mouth and so I will be um, getting together and designing with her some a clothing line some clothing um, and also you can talk with her as well about um, personalizing so there'll be more to come on that I'm doing big things here guys so <coughs> making big moves in an, a broken economy and a broken country we need leaders right now and Scorpio you're being called on so you're gonna get this double reading coming through okay you're being called on you guys are warriors you're ruled by Mars and Pluto. Now, Mars gives you your fight, your fire, your style, okay? It gives you what you need to get through this life. You are one tough fire water sign, and you are the only sign that contains both of those things, or two elements at once, okay? Pluto gives you your dark sense of humor, your darker side, your tendency to play on the dark, and that's needed right now in a very broken country. Scorpio, rise the fuck up. Rise the fuck up. Stay woke. See what's going on in front of you. See, witness what's really happening here. Martial law, the takeover of a new world order, a country that's broken. Let's face it, there's not a stimulus package out there to fix a fucking broken country and a broken economy and a broken American society. They can pump as many trillion dollars as they like, but the whole world just shut down. The entire fucking world, okay? Now, for Scorpio, Mars is your partial ruler. Mars is the planet of war, and it also rules Aries. So you and Aries are warriors, okay? Aries is the first of the zodiac. They are the true warriors of the zodiac. But with that Mars ruling in there and that Pluto dark side, you're a good balance for Aries to fight beside them right now. Because our entire world is affected with a disease, and it's not COVID fucking 19. It's selfishness selfishness people have hoarded and raided everything to the point where other people have nothing and I know my household was affected so I was pretty pissed 
I couldn't get formula. I couldn't get wipes, diapers, nothing. Luckily, my daughter's um, non-milk formula, if you will, uh, the insurance company agreed that they would pay for it because it's a prescription. So we got the box in just as we were running out of our last can of formula. I ordered wipes, three boxes. As soon as I finished ordering and it brought me back around to the page, it says out of stock. People are buying up even children's shit. They don't care. They'd step right over you if you were dying. This is the most selfish fucking world I've ever seen in my life. And I'm sorry, this is not a dig to Aquarians, but the age of Aquarius that we're in, it's cold, it's brutal, it's detached, and it's mean. We went from Pisces backwards to Aquarius. This happens like every 2,000 years. We moved backwards into a sign. And we moved backwards into Aquarius. And now we're seeing... Of course, guys. You know me. Having an autoimmune disorder. But now we're seeing the age of Aquarius. We're seeing what it's producing. A mass shutdown of an entire world. An outbreak. A pandemic. Not even a fucking epidemic. A pandemic. Of selfishness. Cruelty. Inability to have empathy and sympathy for others. And of course, fucking COVID-19. So, what I'm seeing here, okay? You're being called upon to come out, come out of your shell and put on your armor. You're being called out to tangle with the devil. Your favorite thing to do. Nobody's better at tangling with the devil than Scorpio. Now, I think you should watch Aries reading because it may have messages in there for you where you're both ruled by Mars. You don't have to. However, it will be good for you to kind of hear Aries' message as well because you need to rise the fuck up. We need leaders. This is some serious shit that people aren't realizing. Now, talking about your personal life, it's talking about you wanting to walk away from something and to go back to these old patterns. You're fighting walking away to go back to these old patterns, okay? It's showing you on a, on a good track, but you're fighting your inner demons right now, and you very well may push the self-destruct button here, and this is not the time or the place, guys. <laughs> Can you please, 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 please self-destruct at another time? Right now, the world needs you. They've never needed a Scorpio more than they fucking do now. Right at this moment. So, please don't slide backwards right now. If I'm looking at this from a pandemic and a cultural and worldwide standpoint this is that carefree attitude that our governments had not always the most honest agenda the house and the senate do not have the most honest agenda neither does the president neither does anybody that's in a governmental role this is an immature way of thinking an immature way of approaching things this is an immature society and what does that bring but a tower moment. This is the tower moment of all tower moments. We are the superpower of the world and we just shut down our country. If you don't think we need warriors right now, I don't know where you're living, but it's not on this planet. The superpower of the world just shut down by biological warfare. And those of you who don't think that this wasn't biological or this was not biological warfare take a closer look we owe China our entire country we are so in debt to them and this is showing that our leaders have literally crawled inside themselves and shut down a goddamn country instantly you're out of work instantly you're out of school instantly martial laws being put in quietly 
California. Us National Guard walking around. Boston's about to have the same thing, and the National Guard is also in New York to enforce martial law. Unless you're in the store getting gas, prescriptions and food, you're not allowed out of your house. And if you do, they're threatening with a $5,000 fine that you can, of course, pay with the job that you no longer have. Right? Right. So if you think this is going to last two weeks and they're enforcing a stay in home at all costs, aside from this and this and this and this, or we're going to fine you, two weeks, my ass. This is the biggest tower. This is the tower of all fucking towers that we are having right now. And we need Scorpio to rise up. We need Scorpio by our side as Aries. And I can tell you that. This is not the time to slide backwards, believe. Now, if you're talking about your relationship, this is talking about an immature approach that you're taking to your relationship. About having a second agenda in your relationship instead of being straightforward. And it's showing that a tower moment is all that's going to lead to and it's because you're hurt about something you're crawled up inside about something and you're not speaking your real truth you're not putting forward your your real truth you're not using your words there's something you're feeling there and it feels almost spiteful or what is that damn word they're saying how would I translate that um in some instances spiteful but I feel like you're starting to be resentful and I see that here okay so I feel like you're starting to be resentful and instead of being resentful just speaking out the words could change everything for you this approach with the knight of wands I mean uh, excuse me the page of wands is 15 year old behavior 12 year old behavior this is how you act when you're a young kid and I'm not saying that you guys are immature I'm just saying that whoever's energy this is if it's Scorpio or if it's Scorpio's other half it's very immature energy now looking at the world the economy boom see you later the dollar see you later we're going to need a new way of currency, a new way of credit, which is garbage anyway. Because everyone's credit's going to be shit after, oh yeah, you can miss one month's payment. Ooh. And what about after that? And after that? And after that? And after that? You can clearly see we are in debt. All pentacles in reverse, okay? You can clearly see that we are in debt. We are in a really bad place and there's no getting out of it. All of these pentacles reversed. The queen of pentacles reversed. The only thing we are getting offered is this one little pentacle. So to me this speaks of the stimulus package. Okay, we get a thousand dollars. Can't even pay your fucking rent. And if you pay your rent and you have money left over, you gotta pay the other bills. That's not going back into the economy. Thousand dollars doesn't even pay half your fucking rent here. Boston's the most expensive city to live in in this country. It doesn't even pay your rent. So this is the little offer we're getting from our government for them shutting down and ruining all of our lives collectively at once. Just like that. Two days our lives have been shut down and destroyed by the government purposefully they have a purpose it's not just COVID-19 and if you think it is take a good look around because Scorpio y'all are known to be conspiracy theorists I'm not a conspiracy theorist I'm a realist and I see what this hand is showing us with the media but I also see what this hand is doing showing talking saying anybody can do it actually implementing while no one's watching and slowly sliding in and taking complete control you don't think they see see us through our TVs our phones listen to our conversation come on guys 
read the book 1984 and then come and talk to me. But in terms of your personal relationship, this is how you're feeling in regard to your money situation and this is what you have to offer right now. And maybe this is what is bothering you or making you resentful. And it's really no fault of your own. It looks like just a turn of bad luck. Your personal garden went down, you went down, and this is all you can offer. And what you're offering is enough because it's all you have right now. And sometimes that's what it takes. You're trying to think logically about love, okay? You're trying to think before you speak. You're trying to be logical about love. There's no logic in love. It makes zero sense. It never will make sense. And everyone who's tried to make sense out of it drove themselves crazy. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. You're not going to have a victory trying to think logically about love and how to fix what's broken. And there's no victory there. There's no celebration. You need to rethink your strategy here. You need to come out of this rest. You've been resting a lot lately. You need to come out of this rest and fight for what belongs to you. Use your voice, use your, your words, guys. Now when I look at this, I see society in an uproar. It's a mess. People are going to be looting soon, robbing banks, doing crazy shit. And we're going to be left to police our own. There's no victory in bringing this economy back and the way of life that we had, the infrastructure that we had back. There's no fucking way in hell they're going to pick up that infrastructure. It's been broken for a long time. And now it's broken for good. And logic is the only way to get out of this. But we need warriors. We need people with heart and kindness. We need doctors and lawyers and we need therapists and we need a whole bunch of, sh of the professionals to get through this. We're going to have to fix ourselves. We're going to have to stand up for what we believe in. And that's love and caring and kindness. Now, you guys are hurting over something here. Whatever's going on here, you're in the past. And that's Mercury retrograde, okay? You're in the past. You're slipping backwards toward the devil, okay? And you're ready to walk away to go and play with the devil. Now, this can also speak of the country and where the country's at. The country's heart is broken. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. Now, this always tells me when it's a Scorpio reading. You come up as the King of Wands, even though it's the card of Leo. Don't know why, you just do. So this is talking about your heart being broken about something, okay? And you're not speaking of it. You're allowing it to fester inside of yourself. You're allowing it to fester and become something bigger than it has to be. The Knight of Wands in reverse. This person's not reliable. They're in and out when they need something. They're in and out of the relationship. They're in and out all over the place. This is not what your partner needs. Your partner does not need you in old heartbreak and slipping backwards in and out, pushing self-destruct. If you care about this love, then fight for it. Now, speaking of the country's perspective we need motherfucking warriors nobody does it better than Scorpio men and women right next to Aries the country's heart is broken and everything as we know it is gone we need to pick up the pieces and we need to Put them back together in a way that they fit and they work for the American people.
right now. Think about cutting out what's important and what's not. Because you're going to have to travel lightly. This is a road long traveled. We'll put it that way. Okay, Scorpio. Thank you for being here and hearing this reading. Um, thank you all for hearing what I have to say. That is your reading from April 1st through April 15th, 2020. If you guys need a personal reading, um, reading prices were brought down. 15 minutes is $20. Uh, 30 minutes, $30. 45 minutes is $40. And 60 minutes is $50. So, those donation amounts were brought down um, in spite of everything going on. I just thought it would be a good idea to try and help out for those of you that are panicking, really need a personal reading, really need to see where shit is going right now. Um, please feel free to reach out. I am here for you. Okay. Love you, Scorpio, and I'll catch you on the flip side. This is your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you from Boston.